The Mariana Trench is one of the deepest, if not the deepest, parts of the world's oceans. That's why it's so easy for things to hide in there. These are 20 scary Mariana Trench creatures that you have never seen before. Number 20. Mariana Snailfish Mariana snailfish, also called Mariana heddle snailfish, is an odd species found in the Mariana Trench. While most fish wouldn't survive at such incredible depths, this persistent fella is known to live at depths of 20,335 feet to 26,496 feet and possibly even holds the record for being caught by fisher people at 26,135 feet. They aren't exactly huge at just 11.3 inches and 0.35 pounds, and they look more like giant tadpoles than fish. However, they're apparently the top predator in many parts of the Mariana Trench and feed on small crustaceans. We only really started learning about the snailfish in 2014 when the first specimen was caught, but several more have been seen since then. As a result, we've been able to learn more about how they survive and breed. They have many adaptations that other fish don't have, like transparent skin without pigment, enlarged organs and eggs, thin muscles, and bone ossification. It doesn't even have a complete skull. These fish also can't see well or at all. Mariana snailfish are also thought to have unusually large eggs that can be as large as 0.4 inches or 1 centimeter in diameter. Like this video, smash the subscribe button and click the notification bell right now or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the odd topic. These weird underwater photos showcase something truly shocking. As you can see, the photo on the left shows some peculiar underwater ruins that were found in the trench via a whirlpool. These ruins were found by a deep sea diver and he said that he actually saw some unusual creatures down there. Sadly, they departed before he could get a photo of them, but at least he got a photo of the ruins. As always, let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below using the hashtag oddtopic. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 19. Goblin Shark If there's one animal that would keep most people from exploring the Mariana Trench, it's the Goblin Shark. This shark is the animal of your nightmares, and even seeing photos of it would be enough to make it stay on land where it's safe and goblin shark free. They are a rare deep sea shark species with a lineage dating back about 125 million years. Often referred to as living fossils, they have long, flat snouts, protrusible jaws, and strange but prominent nail-like teeth. Goblin sharks also grow quite large at up to 13 feet, but some have been captured measuring about 20 feet. Imagine that coming up behind you. Most goblin sharks live at depths of more than 330 feet, but they can dive at depths of up to 4,270 feet for short periods. That's good news for people worried about coming across one in the shallows. What you may also notice about goblin sharks that might make you vomit in your mouth a little bit is their weird body. That's a sick burn. They have flabby skin and small fins that make them average swimmers, and they look far less streamlined than other shark species. Fortunately, not only do they not live near us, but they also don't want to eat us. They are ambush predators that feed on crustaceans and teleost fish like dragonfishes. Still, I would not want to come face to face with one in the Mariana Trench. Number 18. Fanfin Sea Devils Fanfin sea devils look like something your child might scribble on paper when they're inventing new monsters. Terrifyingly, these awful-looking creatures already exist. Fanfin sea devils are anglerfish with hairy-looking spikes all over their bodies. They also have a bioluminescent lure that they use to both capture prey and avoid becoming it themselves. As they are deep-sea fish, we haven't had too many encounters with them to study them in great detail, but I think we know enough to be fair. Once they have lured in their prey with their pretty light, they open their massive, tooth-filled mouth wide and devour prey much larger than themselves that goes straight into their expandable stomach. These fish look pretty big in photos, but fortunately, they're not. Females only grow up to about 8 inches long, and males are much, much smaller at around half an inch long. So how do they mate, you ask? Well, let's just say there's a reason experts describe male fanfin sea devils as sexual parasites. They latch onto a much larger female during the mating process and permanently fuse themselves to her body to reproduce. That's one way to stay together for life, I guess. 
Number 17. Deep Sea Dragonfish The deep sea dragonfish is a small but awful looking fish that lives in deep ocean waters down to about 5,000 feet in the north and western Atlantic Ocean, as well as the Gulf of Mexico. They grow between 4 and 6 inches long and are sometimes referred to as scaleless dragonfish. What first stands out about this fish species is its teeth. Even though they're small fish, they have enormous teeth. So large, in fact, that they almost look out of place. Like many other fish species, the deep sea dragonfish is capable of producing its own light through bioluminescence. This is a chemical process involving a unique organ called a photophore. It uses this light to attract prey and even find mates. This fish also has a barbel attached to its chin that produces light, along with more light producing organs on the sides of its body. It's pretty good at using them, too. It'll wave them in the water like a fishing lure, and once a fish gets close, it'll use its powerful jaw and sharp teeth to gobble it up. Deep sea dragonfish aren't fussy eaters. They mainly feed on crustaceans and small fish, but they'll take what they can get. As they live so deep in the ocean, not much is known about their mating habits. Although experts have guessed that they're external spawners, in that the female releases her eggs into the water for the male to fertilize. Number 16. Barrel Live Fish it won't take you long to work out why barrel eye fish has the name it does. They have strange, barrel-shaped tubular eyes that are usually pointed upward to look for the silhouettes of delicious snacks. Although they can also direct their eyes forward, and I don't know which position is creepier to be honest. Alongside these weird-looking eyes, they also have dome-shaped transparent heads that cover their eyes almost like a form of protection. It's believed that these domes let the fish collect light while protecting their sensitive eyes from the stinging cells of siphonophores, a type of marine species that they steal food from. Barrel eye fish live in the tropical to temperate waters of the Pacific, Indian, and Atlantic Oceans and hang around at reasonable depths of between 1,312 feet and 8,202 feet. They have small, toothless mouths, pointed snouts, and dark brown bodies with silvery scales, although the body can often appear white. Not too much is known about their everyday life since they live so deep in the ocean, but it's believed that they are solitary, don't migrate, and are pelagic spawners. This means that they release eggs and sperm into the water to create even more of these monsters. Number 15. Dumbo Octopus Okay, as creepy as they look, there's some quite cute about Dumbo Octopus. They get their name from their resemblance to Dumbo from the Disney film, if that tells you anything about their cuteness. But of course, they aren't elephants. They are a pelagic umbrella octopus with prominent ears extending from the mantle above each of their eyes. There are at least 15 known species of them, and they live all around the world in the cold depths of the ocean from 3,280 feet to nearly 23,000 feet. These cute wee fellas eat bivalves, copepods, worms, and crustaceans, and they have a pretty short lifespan of just five years. Even though they don't have too many direct threats from us, they are at risk of natural predators in their deep environment, like large teleost fish, seals, sperm whales, and sharks. Like other octopuses, they don't have ink sacs and can't change color, so it's not really known how they manage to avoid becoming food. That might be why they don't live that long. There are so many question marks about this species, but we've managed to figure a few things out. They're thought to move around using their fins, and there have been queries about their jet propulsion skills. Their arms also allow them to crawl along the sea floor to capture prey and lay eggs, but they tend to get their food by pouncing on whatever creature they can find. Number 14. Deep Sea Hatchet Fishes I hope you don't want to sleep soundly tonight, because you're about to learn about a terrifying creature that lives in the Mariana Trench and other parts of the world. Marine hatchet fishes, or deep sea hatchet fishes, are ray fin fish found in temperate, subtropical, and tropical waters across the Atlantic, Pacific, and Indian Oceans. They can grow up to 4.7 inches long and are absurd fish with a strange body shape and bioluminescent photophores. These fish get the name hatchet fish because their body looks somewhat like a hatchet. It almost seems 
seems compressed, and their pelvis is rotated in a vertical position. Strangely, their mouths are also at the very tip of their snouts, almost pointing directly downwards. In contrast, their large, sensitive eyes point upwards so that they can see food coming. But these aren't even the most interesting points about this unique and scary fish. They have glowing photophores on their bellies and sides, and these help them hide in the dark depths of the ocean and counter the light coming from above them. As a result, they somehow manage to remain hidden from predators and prey. Fortunately, most humans won't come into contact with deep-sea hatchet fishes because, well, they live in waters of up to 4,921 feet. Number 13. Giant Amoeba we're discovering new things about the ocean all the time, and something very exciting was found in 2011, a giant amoeba in the deepest parts of the world's ocean. Scripps Institution of Oceanography scientists used a drop cam in the Mariana Trench off the coast of the Philippines at depths of 6.6 .6 miles to find the amoeba. The previous depth record was in the New Hebrides Trench at 4.7 miles. This amoeba truly blew that record out of the water. Individual cells of amoeba are usually around 4 inches or 10 centimeters and are found in abundance on the sea floor. Their job is to host many different organisms. They also trap particles in the water and can absorb high levels of heavy metals like mercury, lead, and uranium. It's also a well-known fact that they suit low temperature, high pressure, and dark environments, which is why it's actually not all that surprising to find them in the Mariana Trench. However, marine biologists say that finding one of these big cells in the deepest trench in the world has given them further opportunities to explore the biodiversity of the area and that these amoeba are just the tip of the iceberg. Number 12. Zombie Worm out of all places to find a zombie worm, the deepest, darkest parts of the ocean are likely going to be it. But going by the name zombie worm, you might assume they're dead, or at least feast on brains or something. And that's not entirely accurate. Zombie worms, or Osidax worms, actually feed on bones. These worms, which typically grow up to three inches long, were first discovered in 2002 living inside the bones of a rotting gray whale about 10,000 feet below the ocean surface. There have been over two dozen species of them found since then. Now, you might be imagining a worm that eats bones is just gnawing on them with tiny teeth, but it's much more interesting than that. They don't have a mouth or even a stomach. They digest fats within the bone by secreting acid from their skin. This acid dissolves the bone and frees up the protein and fat inside it. Then, bacteria living inside the worm digests it. Researchers don't actually know how the worm gets its nutrients from the bacteria, but believe they either digest the bacteria or somehow the bacteria transfer the nutrients to the worm. But they don't just eat whale bones. These worms hold on to whatever bones they find, like fish bones and even cow bones dumped into the water. And it's actually only female zombie worms that do this. The males are microscopic and live inside the female. One female zombie worm was found with over a hundred males residing inside her. Number 11. Vampire Squid the vampire squid, living in the dark depths of the ocean down to around 3,000 feet, is a squid you probably don't want to get on the wrong side of. And if you do, you might end up covered in sticky liquid. There's an image you can't unsee. These 12-inch long cephalopods live in tropical and temperate seas. Experts used to think they were octopuses because they don't have long tentacles that typically extend past the average squid's eight arms. However, they have characteristics of both squid and octopuses, which pretty much puts them in their own scientific classification. Vampire squid are dark colored and have massive blue eyes. However, perhaps one of their more unusual features is the velvety cloak-like webbing that connects their arms. This is how they came to be known as vampire squid, even though they don't suck blood and could probably look in mirrors if they wanted to. Unlike other cephalopods, they can't change color or squirt ink. This is because these features would be pretty useless in the deep ocean where there's little light, but they need some kind of defense mechanism and they have one. Instead, they'll squirt a cloud of mucus-like, sticky, and bioluminescent fluid when they feel under threat. I'd prefer if they just changed color, to be fair. Number 10. Frilled Shark 
If you thought the goblin shark was the scariest creature in the ocean, wait until you learn about the frilled shark. This living fossil is around 6.6 .6 feet long and dark brown with a fringed appearance across its gill slits at its throat. It lives throughout the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans and tends to hang out around the Outer Continental Shelf and Upper Continental Slope. It lives on smaller sharks, bony fish, and cephalopods, and moves through the water like a slippery eel, lunging at its prey to swallow it whole. It's almost like it doesn't need the 300 terrifying needle-like teeth in its mouth. The depths this shark lives at depends on which ocean it lives in. Around Japan, they have been found at depths of up to 660 feet, but they'll swim even deeper when temperatures increase. Some have also been caught around western South America at depths of up to 5,150 feet, but they most often aren't found any deeper than 3,300 feet. As they live so deeply in the ocean, we don't have much to do with them. And to be fair, we've got enough on our plates with great white sharks and bull sharks. But that's not to say we aren't impacting their way of life. They sometimes become a bycatch of commercial fishing and also have commercial value as fish meal and meat. One has even been brought up to the ocean surface to be put in captivity, but it died. Depending on where you're located, they're classed as near threat of extinction, of least concern, and at risk, naturally uncommon. Number 9. Fang Tooth the average fish isn't what you'd call pleasing on the eye, but there's one that's certainly not winning any beauty contest awards, and that's the fangtooth fish. This deep sea fish lives in tropical and cold temperate waters and has massive fang-like teeth. They aren't even in proportion to its face. They grow up to about 6.3 inches long and have small heads, large jaws, and scraggly thin skin. Their eyes are set high in their heads and are actually quite small compared to the rest of their features. They also have dark brown to black heads, small fins, and scales embedded into their skin like thin plates. Out of all fangtooth species, the pelagic fangtooths live the furthest down into the ocean at 16,000 feet or 5,000 meters. Juveniles tend to live in the upper ranges, and most are found at around the 6,650 foot mark. These fish are terrifying enough for you to think they're human eaters, but they don't really pose much of a threat to us. They mainly eat zooplankton, and some of the adults living in deeper parts of the ocean feast on squid and fish. And although they have those massive teeth to protect them, they often find themselves as prey. Large pelagic fish like marlin, tuna, and even some shark species like to dine on the occasional fangtooth fish. Number 8. Telescope Octopus Telescope octopuses are so elusive that most people would never see one for themselves. And even if you did capture a glimpse, you probably wouldn't know what you're looking at. They are deep sea creatures living at up to 6,500 feet below the ocean surface in tropical and subtropical waters of the Indian Ocean and Pacific Ocean. Telescope octopuses are about 8 inches long and their arms make up at least half of their length. They are also thought to be related to another deep sea octopus species known as the glass octopus but there's something quite unique about this specific creature. While most octopuses move around on the sea floor, the telescope octopus will just drift around with the currents. Rather than carve its own path, it'll remain suspended in the water column for most of its life. It's like the drifter of the ocean. Experts believe that remaining in a vertical position rather than swimming horizontally allows it to remain hidden from predators. But it might not even need to do that because they have transparent, gelatinous flesh. You could be staring right at one and not even know it. The most visible parts of their bodies are their eyes and digestive glands, while the rest of them almost appear ghost-like. Number 7. Gran Rojo Jellyfish it can be so hard to wrap your head around the fact that we don't know about all the creatures that exist on Earth. We know so much, but we don't know as much as we think we do. And the Gran Rojo jellyfish is kind of proof of that. This jellyfish has rarely been seen, and it was only discovered for the first time in 2003. Probably because it lives up to 4,800 feet below the ocean surface. Even though we don't know much, we do know a small amount. For example, we know they grow to be over 3 feet in diameter and have 4 to 7 arms. They use these long, red, fleshy arms to retrieve prey, and they are the same color as their large, round head. 
Scientists also think they're similar to other known jellyfish in that they don't have eyes, a brain, a heart, and bones. They are mostly made up of water. It's believed that they feast on small fish and zooplankton they capture with their tentacles, but it's not known if they can sting and entangle their prey as other jellyfish do. However, they likely reproduce the same way as other jellyfish by releasing eggs into the water to form a planula that hooks onto a rock or structure and grows into a polyp. The polyp will then clone itself into an ephora, which turns into an adult jellyfish. Number 6. Comb Jellies Comb jellies are marine invertebrates that live in waters around the world. They are most well known for having cilia or combs that they use to swim around. In fact, they are the largest animals to use cilia for swimming. Depending on the species, these incredible creatures can be just a few millimeters long or up to 5 feet long. There are thought to be up to 150 known comb jelly species to date. Their bodies are a mass of jelly and they have a thick layer of cells on the outside and an internal cavity lining. They also have retractable tentacles that they use to capture prey. They aren't all that fussy about what they eat and will dine on something as small as microscopic larvae through to small crustaceans. Strangely, even though they are soft and gelatinous, experts think they have found fossils of them dating back about 525 million years ago. You can find comb jellies in shallow waters, but they also live in the deep sea, and scientists are in awe about how they can adapt. So they've been undertaking scuba expeditions to learn how animals adapt to life in extreme environments with comb jellies at the center of some of their investigations. Number 5. Ping Pong Tree Sponge just when you think the ocean can't get any weirder, we stumble across the ping pong tree sponge. It's a sponge that looks like it's a tree covered in the balls you'd use for table tennis. Oh, and did we mention it eats flesh? What on earth? This unique tree sponge can grow up to 20 inches tall and consists of a thin stalk with globe-like appendages that look soft and squishy to touch. Except they aren't squishy and soft to touch. These little balls are covered in tiny, hook-shaped spicules. When crustaceans touch them, the tiny bristles on their bodies become caught on the spicules and they stick like Velcro, unable to escape. Slowly, the ping-pong tree sponge's cells descend upon the prey and start the digestion process. Each of those cells uses phagocytosis, the process of using a plasma membrane to engulf a particle to consume the crustacean little by little. It takes a long time for the prey to be digested, since the tree sponge doesn't have a digestive cavity or stomach of any kind. Eventually, the doomed prey just melts away. Fortunately, we don't have to look on in horror as this happens, since most ping pong tree sponges live in the Pacific Ocean at depths of 8,860 feet. Number 4. Sea Cucumber Sea cucumbers are probably one of the most unusual creatures in our oceans. They are leathery-skinned marine animals that can be found on sea floors throughout the world. There are thought to be over 1,700 different species, and most are in the Asia-Pacific region. Sea cucumbers have an endoskeleton below their skin and soft, cylindrical bodies without any solid appendages. They can grow up to about 12 inches long, but the smallest species is a mere 3 millimeters or 0.12 inches, while the largest is up to 10 feet. These weird little critters form large herds on the seafloor and can adapt to extreme depths down to about 10,687 meters or over 35,000 feet. As they have tough gelatinous tissue, they're able to control their buoyancy, which means they can float around, swim, or stay on the ocean floor. In most cases, they scavenge for food on the sea floor, with the majority of their diet consisting of decaying organic matter and plankton. Number 3. Gulper Eel Eels are just like giant sea worms, right? They're snake-like, a bit wormy, and just kind of featureless, really. Gulper eels are a bit different, though. The gulper eel, which also gets called the pelican eel, is black, up to three feet long, and has a long, narrow body. But it has one feature that differs from other eels, a huge, gulping mouth, hence the name gulper eel. 
When they do their gulping thing, they just look like a big black balloon moving effortlessly through the water, and it's quite cool to watch. Like pelicans, this huge mouth lets them scoop water into their mouth to swallow their prey whole. While they mainly feast on fish, cephalopods, and crustaceans, they can also go after larger fish thanks to their extraordinary adaptation. Scientists don't know too much about the gulper eel because it's so rare, but what they do know is that when they're removed from the deep sea where the pressure is immense, they become damaged. Number 2. Viper Fish Scientists are still in the dark about most details relating to viperfish, mainly because they live at depths of up to 16,404 feet, where temperatures can be as low as 39 degrees Fahrenheit. What we do know, though, is that they are 12-inch marine fish living in tropical and temperate waters, and that they have long, needle-like teeth positioned within odd-looking, hinged lower jaws. These fish can be black, silver, or green, and have light-producing organs on the sides of their bodies and their dorsal fin. The fish can flash these lights on and off and move its dorsal spine like a fishing rod to attract prey. Once they have prey in their sights, they can charge at it at high speeds and immobilize it in its sharp teeth. But it's no bother if they don't get food every day since, like other deep sea fish, they can go long periods with minimal food. They prefer to feast on squid, small fish, and shrimp when they eat, but aren't overly fussy as long as it's edible. Surprisingly, viper fish can live for up to 40 years in the wild, but if caught, would die within a few hours of being in captivity. Number 1. Benthocodon Jellyfish there's one type of jellyfish that's so beautiful that it looks like a fireworks display in the water, and that jellyfish is the benthocodon. This jellyfish is tiny, red, and found near the sea floor from the Pacific Ocean through to the Arctic Ocean. It's unique in that it uses bioluminescence to attract prey just as an anglerfish would. The red wisps on its dome that look like firework sparks are actually very fine and delicate tentacles that it uses to propel itself through the water. Most of these jellyfish can have up to 2,000 tiny tentacles, and these give it speed and agility in the water. You might assume that with that many tentacles, the jellyfish is large, but it's not. It grows up to around 4 centimeters, or 1.57 inches, in diameter. We haven't had too many opportunities to be mesmerized by this creature because it's typically found in waters deeper than 2,500 meters, or 8,202 feet. However, some species have been collected in just 328 feet of water. I knew the ocean was mysterious, but a massive hole with strange creatures in it? Now that's mysterious. Have you heard about any of these sea creatures before? Would you ever dive in the Mariana Trench? Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on screen right now. See you next time!